here it is, guys. The Freedom Fatty from Wing. Okay, new, uh, newer, relatively newer e-bike company, and um, this is what it is. And we're about to go in and see what's really going on. Chocolate gadgets. This is the Freedom S Fatty box. See, wing right there. Now, normally I would unbox it. <laughs> And put it together but you know what I'm not gonna do that I'm actually gonna have a bike mechanic put this thing together because I don't feel like being frustrated today okay so just a look in the box because I'm actually gonna it's a little bit easier to get it to the mechanic if I take it out of the box so you got a tire right here There's another tire in the back most of it is already together this is the battery it's the battery right here and this is the seat and everything else is in the box we're gonna start with the tires. These are Kenda Crusader puncture resistant tires. The size is 20 by four. These are fatty tires. Next, you're gonna see we have our headlights. These are built in so you don't have to bolt anything. It's all connected to the electricity. Now you're gonna see the frame. It is a lightweight aluminum frame. You're gonna see that wing branding right there. Go up to the handlebars. I actually changed the handlebars. These are the stock handlebars. I'm gonna get into that. And that's the instrument panel. It's really simple. I'm gonna show you how that works in a minute. And over here, I actually added the throttle. That's the gears and that's a throttle. Okay, really, man, that just takes this bike to a whole nother level. And right here, here's your display. Right here at the top, you can press this up all right, now that goes through and down. That goes through your pedal assist. Five is a lot. One is like almost zero. All right. And um, right beneath that is the, of course, that's the horn. Showed you that before. And right here, if you pull that down, you're going to see bloop, the light comes on. All right, really cool. So if you guys wanted to see, and it's a really nice um, bright light, you, all the cars and everybody, and this is the tail light. Everybody can see you when you're on the road. I mean, it's really, really nice. So just wanted you to take a look at that too. Now we're gonna come to the rear of the bike. You're gonna see it also has that built-in tail light. All right, really important if you're out here in these streets. And um, see that fender right there? The fender's on the front and the back, that helps. And that down here, that is that, um, the, the Shimano gears, is seven gears, and that is a Bafang engine or motor, all right? It's 500 watts, could be a little stronger, but in case you wanna know, it is 500 watts, all right? Let's get in and take a good little look at it. You're gonna see right there, Bafang. 500 watts and um you're gonna see it's a good it's a good motor um could be stronger i could have used a 650 or a 700 but hey that's what it is those are the pedals and that my friends is that battery all right really cool battery you just plug it in right there really nice i mean overall it is a really great looking bike and this right here, this see, you're gonna, I'm gonna open it up, and this is where you plug it in. And the battery comes out, so you could charge it on the bike, or you can take it upstairs or wherever inside and charge it. Now, let me show you something. This is the coolest part of the bike. You see in these keys right here? It comes with this, all right? That's the key, and you can't just pull that battery out. You actually have to push it in and turn it and then it pops out a little bit and you can um, pull it out and right here this is like a car it has an alarm system all right with the hazard button and everything okay you can lock it and unlock it really 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 cool now we're going to go back over to the handlebars and listen to this yeah that was the horn some guy said that it was low and i'm like that's not low but hey whatever but now this is the way you really review a bike. Let's take it for a ride.
right, guys, so this is the skinny on this bad boy right here. Um, love the bike, but let's get into the pros and the cons. I guess we can get into the cons first. Con number one is that this is a personal thing. I wish that the bike had a bigger profile. Like, I wish that, like, this frame right here would just like a little bit like this part would just, just a little bit higher. Wish that the bike frame was a little bigger. The other bike, I'm gonna put a, uh, a picture of it. Although it doesn't have the fat wheels, the frame is bigger. Um, that's, but that's a personal bike. The seat that it comes with, I changed the seat. I'm gonna show you the original seat. Um, to me, that seat is just a little bit too bony. With an electric bike, man, you're gonna be out, you know, riding and having fun and pretty much cruising. So I think it needs a fatter, bigger bike seat like this one that I have on. Another thing that I did was I changed the handlebars because um, the way that it's set up, it's set up almost like a downhill bike. You kind of lean. Okay, so these are the straight stock handlebars. Okay, they're cool, but with them, you'll be sitting up something like this, you know. Now, my new handlebars, check these out. These are the new handlebars, right? You can see they are the swept back style. Guys, I cannot tell you how much of a joy this bike is to ride now so this is an investment if you're going to get any bike any e-bike get swept back handlebars if they don't have them you can get them they're really cheap i think i paid like i think you no know, these were like 50 bucks i'm going to put a link down in the description box but they make all the difference in the world all right because you'll be sitting up like this check this out you see this right here see i'm sitting up like my back is straight so much more comfortable I put these swept back handlebars on it and it just improves your overall riding experience a great deal. Um, also, the bike is, and I, this is just what happened with, a, a, I guess, an uh, electric bike. The bike is very, very heavy. Now me, I live in a, a walk up, so I, it's exercise, man. You know what I'm saying? If you're smaller or you're not the most physically strong, you know, I don't want to see females because there's a lot of women out here who are stronger than us guys. So, but if you're not the strongest person, this thing can be a pain if you live where you have to like take it upstairs or something like that. Also, I, the motor is a good motor, so the Bang motor. I'm gonna put the wattage up there. I may do a, a voiceover, but um, the motor could be stronger because if you're going up a lot of hills, if it's not fully charged, you could have some problems. Okay, so I want to show you something about the battery. Now, the battery right here is about, see, like three bars. So, it's not a full charge, okay? And I'm about to go up a hill. So, let me show you this. Now, see, that's the hill. You can see it's not that steep. It's, it's a nice little hill. So I'm about to go right here and uh, you got to forgive me because I'm using my cell phone here and I'm going up the hill and you can see as I go up the hill it's not at three anymore all right you see right there you see it's at one one little bar all right and sometimes depending on how steep the hill is like if it's really really steep it gets really really hard to pedal man it's, it's like being on a regular bike but that's only when the battery is getting low if it's fully charged like i'm going to show you in the next little clip no problem as you can see i'm going up the hill and it's like at one right but um you can see the the top of the hill right here it, it's it's not a big hill and um <laughs> as i go down the hill you're gonna see that it goes right back up i don't know if you can see that but it's already up back up to like three four bars all right let's take a look at it right here see that right there we're already back up but let me show you something else okay so this is this hill now this hill this is, is hill. no joke uh, it's a very well known hill and uh you can see the peak of it is not even right there it's actually around the corner all right and the other day uh, my battery was getting 
low and well, I could I not make it, it. But right here, I had me a nice fresh battery today, and I, I took it like a champ. Oh, wow. So uh, it was dope, man. I, I was really excited up here. So, man, <laughs> take a listen. Battery, fresh battery makes a hell of a difference. Okay. Uh, and the battery, the battery is good. Uh, this battery right here is rated to last about 40 miles, give or take, depending on how much you weigh and all that good stuff. There's a 25 mile and there's like a 70 mile, you know, one. And of course that makes the bike more expensive. But those would be um, my cons. Okay, now let's get into the pros. Okay, so pro number one is that the bike, how the bike looks. Thing. Overall, look at the bike. I get compliments on this bike all the time. It is a really, really good looking bike. Pro number two, the price of the bike. For comparable bikes like this, this bike is maybe 200, 500. I mean, I've seen some for a thousand dollars more, maybe even more than that. So uh, for the price of this bike, for the bike that you're getting, really, really great pickup. I really like the key system to get to pull the battery, pull the battery in and out. And also this, this alarm system for the bike is awesome. Although I don't think you should be leaving your bike unattended for too long. I live in New York City, so I'm not really going to lock up my bike. I so, but that's a great thing. And lastly, it is a really, fun bike and I really like the um, pedal assist. The pedal assist is great. You just kick a couple of and it goes, man. It's really, really fun. And my bike also has the throttle. So it's either or. So um, really great pickup. I really like the bike. That would be the things that I would um, uh, change pros and cons. So overall for the wing Freedom Fatty, uh, I am going to give it four chocolate bars. You know, so far so good. Uh, I've had this bike for about, mm, maybe about two weeks, two, about a couple weeks now. No, 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 I've had it, yeah, for a couple weeks now. And it's been a joy, it's been a joy. Other than taking it upstairs, it has been a joy. So, um, that's it, man. Anyway, Chocolate Gadgets, Gary Hedgenay, and I'm out. Peace.